24 days of matcha. I'm going to be taking pictures while I do this. There's all the ingredients. There's 23 bags of matcha and a surprise. Let's go find out what the surprise is. have it taped up. Which is smart. I don't want it springing open in transit. That's one. The other one. Open. Oh, it's fun little different size boxes. Cute. It says your matcha discovery voyage starts now. So I guess it's meant for people who haven't matcha before. That explains the spoon, the powder. They say 185. I've heated my water to 175, which actually I should probably heat it back up again. How it's still warm. Alright, so, Irk, day one's at the top, so we'll slip out of the fun little thing. And then I'll just put this down over here. So we got a little drawer, a little pouchy in there, and it's Cream of Earl Grey. I like that. That sounds good. I wonder how many grams they want me to do. I guess we'll see if the back of the box tells me. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I mean, on the downside, the back of the box does tell you all of them and not in the same water so we kind of got spoilers here <clears throat> five to six matcha spoons and a couple more that's uh we don't have their official spoon I guess we're gonna go with four grams. We'll say four grams. So being that this is like two cup mug, let's go eight. Let's see if there's even eight in there. If we got a little packet. Apparently this is twelve. So let's go ahead and do half and half. Does that sound good? And tear this. So there's a zipper, but they're not heat sealed. Alright. So we went with six grams or half the sample. And there's definitely like sugar in there. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is put in some hot water. And then before turning it on, just give it a stir. I'm probably going to end up adding milk to this. Electric whisk, I'm lazy and I have bad wrists. Yeah, Jack? What you doing? <laughs> you happy? Having a happy dance? Alright, so I only half filled it. Which is not how much I intended, but 
I whisk it first because otherwise it gets all sloshy. So now is where I fill the rest of the cup up. And I'm not going all the way full because as I discussed, I would have rather done eight in here and I only had six. It's like three quarters of the way full. It's an olive drab color. With a little bunny eye bun under the table. It smells like citrus. It's definitely vegetal and citrus at the end. It's like a weird bitter in the middle. They wanted me to use 185. I use 175. I definitely wouldn't have used 185 because this is getting that grassy bitter. So yeah, it starts out fresh veggies and then you get like the burnt grass and I get the citrus. Decent burnt Earl Grey. Let me get some milk. <coughs> I didn't. Let me get some powdered milk. Um, I've been away, so I don't think there's any fresh milk. Still a little burnt, but definitely better. Not a favorite. Um, I like some of their flavored ones. Uh, this one, maybe I'll try the other one with like 165 or something, but there's just that little bit burnt in there that I don't like. Okay. 